majority of parasitic infections are diagnosed by stool examination through which eggs, larva, protozoan cysts, and trophozoites are recovered. It is recommended that prior to stool processing, the consistency of the stool be determined. Helminth eggs can be found in any type of stool consistency, whether it's formed, semi-formed, soft, diarrheic, or watery. Protozoan trophozoites, on the other hand, are only usually found in diarrheic or watery stools. To prepare for any stool examination, one must set the working area. Of course, you have to make sure that you're wearing gloves prior to any stool examination preparation. You also need to prepare your work area, cover them with old newspapers or scratch papers or any disposable piece of linen so that you won't contaminate your work tables. Also prepare your materials beforehand so that you won't get lost when you actually need to prepare your examination. There are two major types of stool examinations that we need to learn how to do. The first one is your direct fecal smear or DFS. This is considered to be the simplest technique in stool examination. A good preparation uses approximately 2 mg of stool. DFS is used to detect helminth eggs, protozoan cysts, and trophozoites, and sometimes even larvae. However, due to the small amount of stool used, relative to the actual amount of, of stool being produced by the human body, there is a high possibility of missing parasites. So please take note of that when you compare it with the other type of stool examination that we will be talking about. The materials that you need to use would include your microscope glass slides, this one, and on top of it is a cover slip. Um, I don't think... I hope you can see the cover slip here. Applicator sticks, plain NSS. And of course, you need your dropper for your NSS. And of course, a freshly prepared stool sample in a sealed container. Of course, you'd want to use masks. Okay, please take note. This is just for demo purposes. So I'm just using peanut butter as a proxy. So don't be grossed out too much. But please make sure that the container that you're going to use is sealed and tamper-proof and of course properly labeled. To prepare your direct fecal smear, place a drop of NSS at the center of a clean microscope slide. Using an applicator stick, pick up the stool material from the best portion of the specimen. What is the best portion of the specimen? You try to look for areas with streaks of blood or mucus so as to increase your chances of actually getting any infected material. Okay, So you just get from the controversial or the best portion of your stool sample and just get a very small amount which would fit the tip of your applicator stick. Emulsify the stool with NSS thoroughly by rotary motion using the applicator stick. So you mix the stool sample into the drop of NSS placed at the center of your glass slide and you emulsify the entire solution. You swirl it a bit to make sure that most of the stool, stool sample material dissolves in the water. You'll notice that there will be turbidity in the NSS and if you see homogeneous turbidity forming in the NSS then you're sure that you have sufficient amount of stool there. Like so I hope you can appreciate the turbidity there. Let's put it over the face of our cartoon character. So there is sufficient turbidity seen in the water of the NSS. Then you use a cover slip to cover the entire preparation. Please make sure that you touch only one edge of the cover slip at an angle and let the water bank the side of the cover slip like so and then you gently lower the glass slide. 
So that is how you prepare your direct fecal smear.